Good morning, good morning, and good morning. This is take two. I tell this one here. Friday morning, happy Friday to everybody. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing fine. Hope all is well. Hope you're blessed and in good spirit. Yeah, I had to touch base with you guys this morning. I got a little podcast here that... You know, I name after myself Italis one because I share my experience and my story. You know what I'm saying? My story, I believe, you know, is a very interesting story. Right? And, you know, I share my point of view as a son, as a brother, as a uncle, as a father, as a nephew, as a cousin, and as a friend, me share my point of view. Because, again, my story is a very interesting story, right? So, I share a lot of things based upon worldview and my culture view right it's not for everybody but it's for somebody and also i believe in documentary right documentary is so important when it is used for the right purpose because we don't know when our time is up and some of us who are not fond of um, photography don't like pictures you know don't like video the only thing left is our voice yeah and I find solace in sharing my voice with the masses and with family members and even for myself, I find solace in it because the words are powerful, you know. And thoughts are even more powerful. Yeah. Even though some people don't want to share them thoughts because they fear. Well, I don't fear n- nothing. Yeah, because we come in this life just to go. Yeah. And we have to make most of it. So, if there's anything I can make the most of, I contribute to all the dark thinkers out there, right? Who meditate upon good thoughts and share good thoughts, right? And are human beings. Yeah? This is what my podcast is about. Yeah? the reasoning of minds and the interaction of thoughts right is either you are part of the solution or you are part of the problem in this life and this is what we have to face on a daily basis solution and problem and there's a whole lot of problem in the earth. But not a lot of solution. <laughs> Don't it? A whole lot of problem in the earth, but not a lot of solution. Now, some of you may beg to differ. But from what I see, why the world is going on as it is from ever since the days of Noah until now yeah this morning is a beautiful morning it's raining right now and i'm so happy for the rain it's drizzling on my car here and it's been heat it's been the weather been so you know topsy-turvy with the heat little bit of breeze 
the, the sticky heat, you know? Where, 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 where turn you crisp. If you're not careful. You know what I mean? Now the people them have lighter complexion. And even the whiter people them. They love the heat like this because they get a little tan. If you look like we. Yeah. But we who dark already. Right? We, we, we don't mind sun because we need sun for the melanin. You understand? But we don't need too much sun because then when we get so much sun, we have too much melanin. You just, and the weather is not. You know what I mean? For you who live in Africa and in place, they are not used to it for years and years and years. But we who in our diaspora, we need cool sun. We don't need sun, we are burned down power. We. Yeah? Because that's just how foreign stay. Simple as, as that. That's just how the climate stay over here. You know what I mean? And it's, it's very an uh, intricate part of of our existence. But we need cool. So the rain come down and we have some cool breeze, some water, you know, and we need the water. Yeah. Give thanks to the Father for that. And all these things are bountiful blessings. Amen. <laughs> So, I leave it at that. Yeah, we love it all. And um, it's not over, but you know, be before me get carried away, me just had to say that little piece there. You know, it's Friday. Happy Friday to one and all. Happy Friday to the hardworking people who made it. It's not over yet because the sun just has come up now. But they made it, you know what I mean? Even if you, you you feel like yo, God bless, we see another day and we and we get it out of the way. A clockwork, yeah, clockwork. So we're doing our thing here. I'm gonna talk with you guys a little bit. Um, some things have been really on my mind and I've been saying to myself you know our people have a long road ahead of us and I was saying to somebody the other day the two most valuable assets we have right you know the struggle with our people right? we love to gain a little asset and little education and you know we like to have prosperity as part of our resume yeah nothing wrong with that because me understand the struggle but the real wealth is health right and the real prosperity is time to your assets those are the two most valuable things anybody can have in this year because if you have health you can do basically anything it might be slow it might be fast but you have to be healthy. And if you have time, you can basically start to finish a project because time is on your side. Glory be to God. Arena come down like a hard and now. Showers are blessing. Thank you, Father. It is an integral part of our daily routine. 
to organize, to schedule, to time ourselves so that we may accomplish whatever we set out to do. And it's an integral part of our long-term well-being to be healthy. So we can be wealthy. And we can leave a little something for others. Choo-choo. You see me? So, health and time, I believe, is, is one of the, or if not the most important asset you have in this life. Right now, many other things play a, a part to your success, but for the overall success without anything else playing in the part, right? God wake you up, you don't have no ear campaign, or even wake you up and you have like a little ear campaign, but you know, and no tubes and, and things like that in the hospital bed, and you know, have to have somebody take care of your physical needs. That is health. That is uh, asset to you. And you discipline yourself where you can know, say, all right, time keep on drifting away. So you have to depend on your time. Right? Because Sabbath come and I sat there and Sabbath come again upon a Sunday, that is your weekend, and you can maneuver it any which way you want to maneuver it. But it's a day of rest. Some want to work six days, seven days. I not judge nobody. I don't come here for judge nobody. But I show you a vibe is only seven days. And in a week, and 365 in a year, and 12 months in a year. Right? So, for the most part, we have to know how to schedule ourselves and take care of ourselves. That's why you see some people, they're in balance. Right? And some people don't get it because <laughs> they end up never taking time out to think about these things. I even know how to explain it. Right? To teach it, to pass it on. Even me, me never, me never had that, you know, teaching. I basically have this revelation because God just told me to share it. I remember growing up as a youth, we used to always service start at 11, right? 9 to 10 is Sunday school. 10 to 11 is a break so that people can go to the inquire and you know have a little interaction and find them seat and um if they want to talk to the to the pastor then can go talk to them. <clears throat> yeah, me remember that. So we did have an early start because Sunday school starts at nine. So you're up by seven, eight, get ready and the little man come and come pick you up or you walk or you get drop off. One eye two. One eye three. And then you did it by at least nine. Eight forty five. You get a couple of minutes you go in your class and interact with the other youth them. Everything was timed. You feel me? Everything was timed and scheduled and it was a farmer upbringing where 
you know what's the X, Y, Z, and it go right through school days, even unto your employment today. But for the most part, what about your own personal life? That of me I try to get to know. So your own personal life, you gotta deal with timing and health. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I used to remember because let me tell you something, it's a task. When you're talking about you go to the synagogue, or you go to the temple, or the tabernacle, or the church. It's a task, you know, for the ladies more so sometimes for the men. But for the most part, even married couples, it's a task, you know, because the ladies them need like a two hour head start. Plus, if them married, them are family members are three hours them need. And a lot of them don't take it because them tired anyway. This is my experience. So it cut down maybe an hour and a half, two hours, you know? And then them have to, you know, make them way to service. And sometimes when you, you always wonder, you used to see some people coming late. And you wonder, I say, my God, why are them always late to church? And it's like free, it's free time. Why are them always late to church? Come to realize, say, some people don't organize themselves. They don't prepare themselves. And really and truly, them betwixt the two days, Saturday and Sunday. You know what I mean? Whether them enjoy time with them family on Saturday or Sunday, but them always reach church late for whatever reason. You understand? Or the, the temple, whatever reason, they reach late. And as we, we grow, I may see people going on in life. They won't be late for no job. And some will be late for a job. But most people, when they might get paid, they don't want to late for no job. Because they don't want to get, they don't want to lose their job or money. But when it come to the temple, they were late for the temple because nobody now go scrutinize them until the pastor or whoever that is in charge take notice because I've seen that happen too and scrutinize them and say to them, hey, you're late. Service start at such and such time. And we are done by such and such time because even when you start late, you, most of the time you end late because now you're going to say something coming to play. You end late. I've seen it. And that is not an asset, especially for some of you who have night shift and, and you have to go in on time for night shift, but you're late for night shift and then some of you have night service. And you have to go in upon time for night service. So there came a point where me kind of did agree with him in that scene. And then I took on to myself an ideology of early is on time. And on time is late. Wherever me they go, I wasn't perfect because I had to master it after, for, you know, I had to master it. But it's the unwritten code that I have within my space. Even when you see me, I do live stream and sometimes it, it don't work properly. It's because me does don't start the preliminary of the live stream, right? Testing it out, make sure the connection good, blah, blah, blah. And then me just catch myself again. Me say, yo, live stream is just like you're going to work. Podcast is like you're just going to work. Where well, these podcasts then recorded, but at the same time, you know, I'm fortunate in this, but can you imagine if it's a live stream? 
Can you imagine? So this is why I'm saying time is an asset. Some people lose time, you understand, because for whatever reason, you know what I mean? But I believe time is an asset for me. You understand? There's nothing anybody could do to take away time. Because even if them feel like them take away time, still have time. On my side, gather thoughts on what is in in me and the knowledge that I have retained to regurgitate it to go over and over with it in my head to make notes and adjustments and improve on it that's an asset I am not a big aficionado of TV majority of the time good shows good Screenwriting, yes, I will take some time and, yeah, enjoy that. But for the most part, I'm not a big fan of TV because what I realize there's a lot of time wasting sitting before a television if it's not information that is vital to my existence. If, like I said in the beginning, documentaries. Those is information that is going to help my existence, enlighten my point of view. Right? News. Yeah? Spiritual um, enrichment. That's my type of atmosphere. Occasionally I might watch some sports. You understand? Because I'm also an elf fanatic. You understand? Cultural um, spotlights and things like that. Because me like, me live in a world with different people, different cultures. So sometimes I don't know even some culture exists. And then when me see the commentary, culture them exists. You say, wow, what part of the world? Somewhere in the rainforest in, in, in Brazil or something like that. So if it have, it have to enlighten me a whole lot, you know, for me to take notice. Comedy is one in a few. I mean, not those guys are always looking for the next laugh. Everything is a next laugh. Eh? And serious things are going in the world where you, you, you should be conscious about. You know, just like when COVID come, me didn't know say COVID I exist about seven to eight months, ten months before the mainstream media a project and tell people and everybody I laugh, laugh, laugh. They didn't even know what I go on on the other side of the world. Yeah. And when all of that comedy never nobody not interested in no comedy. They are interested in survival. They're interested in remedy, healing, herbs and remedies. All of a sudden, now everybody's serious. You understand? So, you see me now, that are the health, now where the health part come in. Yeah? In order to do this work, in order to accomplish what you need, you have to be healthy in, in, in your mind, in your body. You have to know your organs, all them work when you reach certain age. And even before you reach certain age, you have to know. All of who drinking and, and, and drive and smoking and, and, and trying to stay alive. You understand? The, the knowledge of how the body work, this, your health is your wealth. Sometimes I see these people on the, them get a little money. You know that. With all these little smoking commercial and all these things. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yet, I mean, yo, me not judge nobody. You smoke, you smoke. You drink, you drink. But there is limitation to everything. Eh? You don't got to smoke like you're mad. You don't have to drink like you're mad. And they do these commercials. 
then them then call you and make you do this commercial. You're not even gonna live this are you live this the money? When they do the commercial them, I don't know. You get a change of art now. I don't wish that on nobody. You understand? But I'm saying for those who have come now, listen. It's not rocket science. It's not. It's not. You know what I mean? It's not. But, you know, you can, you can make it, you know, you can make it, and, you know, if you have a little discipline in yourself, have a little discipline, you know what I mean, you can make it. Everything is not a burden, especially if it is for your well-being, it is not a burden. All you need to do, take your time and meditate upon these things. You know what I mean? Sometimes I know the parents, them, them overwhelmed. You know, I know the parents, them overwhelmed. And some of the elders and the mid, the mid, you know, seniors, them, me at top of the 50, everybody, I, I wonder what's going to happen in the next 10 years because them, them have touch retirement. I understand all these things, but the greatest asset you can ever have is health and time. Right? And in between that, God can make a, a thing work for you. Right? Whether you want to, you know, accomplish your bucket list or whatever, or you want to you know, do a new venture. You know, you want to be a traveler. You know what I mean? Whatever. I remember the youth them, the youth there, when they Myra. Right? Maybe him now in late, early 30s or, or so, late 30s. But, him, I don't know him's full story, but I believe. He had um start out with some humble beginnings and him do a oversteer and him visa whatsoever and from that I don't know how it worked out because there were some videos out there where you know him a bounce from year to year. You understand? But he wasn't better in his country, but he was born from year to year. And at the same time, him take up him camera and him, he was one of them early vloggers and him just started doing a little vlogging. And he, something just told him it was a gateway to, to prosperity. I mean, hear a lot of things where people say, you know, I don't know, I can't judge. But, Missy said two things, the man had time, and he was healthy. And, he was open to destiny. He didn't know, we never know what, how it would have turned out. But we know the two things that we saw, a young, healthy man and the man had time to travel and go fulfill destiny. Real talk, I look, look now, when you go to Fien Channel, the, the thousands of young people who are willing to take the risk, you know, it ain't come overnight. They may have things say it come overnight, but it didn't come overnight. They literally, the, the guy had no team. Like, when you see these people come now with them vlogging all over the place and them, them are standing in front of camera. He all know him still walk with him camera and him and, and him vlog stick. Right? He still do it. These other guys, you see them have some cameraman and work camera, video man and work camera upon them. You know what I mean? And Michael and these guys still have him 
stick a walk with a whole uh, sometimes you may see somebody a whole a camera film but for the most part he do it himself as a content creator as a vlogger and him have health and him have time right it is inspiring i ain't gonna lie it's inspiring you know because in this life them tell you all the time work 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 and they don't want you to enjoy nothing about this life oh that's what them say but is it the truth that's what them say is it the truth and i i tell you i don't think it's the truth but what I do think is the truth, health and time. The more I'm living, is the more I see a lot of sick people for this, for that, for this. Right? Whether it be through promiscuity, whether it be because of infidelity, whether it be because of trauma, a whole lot of mental health issues right now. Yeah, a whole lot of single people out there right now because they don't want them afraid of the responsibilities and them afraid of the. I don't blame them, you know, but at the same time, if it is not here, it must be there somewhere, and you have to be ready and prepared yourself to take on them road. Level your head, level your head. Solid foundation. A lot of that are going. Everybody want this single, single, single life. Like say, you them not do anything. Uh uh. Man made for the woman, woman made for the man. Okay, but you don't have to be everywhere with everything at every time. No. So the world. You don't keep turning, but me see the way it's going, right? And the order has been shaking every day. The order has been shaking, right? Some of you may ask, what is the order? Read the Bible. The Bible will tell you the order. Yeah, you know I mean, you don't have to agree with me, but read the Bible. The Bible will tell you the order. That is the order. You understand? And a lot of people have different type of orders, but there's one order, the Bible. Yeah? The order of marriage, the order of singleness, the order of um, communication, the order of people, nations and nations, tribes and tribes, cultures and cultures, tongues and tongues. Everything of an order. Yeah? Spirit and spirit. Flesh and flesh. Everything of an order. Right? Under God's divine will. And people are making laws. Right? Them have time, man. <laughs> them have time. Right? But them, them not have helped. Because health also is an order and to have a healthy society they need to go back to basics uh, and take time to read it all you understand so health and time is the two greatest asset straight across the board straight across the board don't fool yourself. Right? You're always going to have tomorrow. You know? Today is what you have. Work with it. Yeah, you can plan. But don't put your hopes that tomorrow you will be able to conduct what you plan for today. You know? Don't feel, say, there will be no opposition to your planning because man will get opposition but then suppose it's an attack on your body 
when man has nah nothing to do with or maybe man do right just like covid you understand so tomorrow no plan for everybody it's not a given it's not a given but you can still plan no problem i'm sure when i pass i'll probably have plans that have not fulfilled but I, I, I live with the, the hope of fulfilling them. Even if I do pass and they're not fulfilled. But I have it in mind. How this plan is going to go down. Right? So time is precious. Health is precious. You know? I, I think we need that a lot in this life. I mentioned mental health. You see a lot of people in depression yeah and different forms of depression too right because some some are, are working <laughs> some are working going to work every day and then depress you yeah some have everything in the world and them depressed you know i remember that guy um Robin Williams, he used to play Mocha Mindy, comedian. Always a smile and I make joke and sometimes he have this stiff face when he laugh. The, the laugh, the, the face is stiff. But it's a smiling face, but it's stiff. It's like he can't come back to normal. He come in like the joker. Can't come back to normal. And and you used to laugh till it kind of sound like an insane type of laugh. Who would have known that the man commit suicide? Eh? Who would have known? Right? And the man has shoot up cocaine and all these things in the dress room before him perform. Who would have known? Yeah? There was a situation... And the news I heard about a week ago about a mother and she have some children and she dead and left I have a will. And one of the relatives them, I don't know which one, but kill off everybody. The mother did die, but they was gonna sort it out because they probably live apart in different areas so they make an appointment for sort it out the day at the mother house they're waiting on the notary or the attorney for come and big argument before the man even show up because them them already come to agreement now maybe two against one three against one or whatever and one say nay and the rest of them say yeah and the one we say nay turn the go take gun and kill off his sibling. Cause mama dead now. So you have to balance and you have to you have to hopefully that one was raised with a certain type of love that you can't get along even though you disagree because you know sibling disagree all the time. But anyway, you go kill off his sibling them. And them turn the gun upon himself. When the real letter come and the attorneys come and ready to deal with the matter now, he must say police in that place. Then say a suicide killing. Mental health. That a gun just happened here the other day. Yeah. It just happened here the other day. And ain't nothing this society can do about it. Ain't nothing. You hear what I'm saying? Because it's two sides to every kind and it's truth. Somebody was arguing with me about this thing, whatever, whatever. I can, I can, it's two sides to every kind. I feel the one that did it, even though he's wrong. I feel him pain. He probably was dealing with that from childhood. You understand? Voice of the voiceless. Right? Siding with this one and that one. Where there's no reasoning. I can, I can see it. You understand? For us who have 
our own experiences with our own parents, you know, is for us to take notes, right? And for parents to take notes and new parents to take notes. Yeah? Because the mother mean well. No matter what, raise all three of them, four of them, how many of them was there. Five of them or two of them, who, I don't even know. But the mother did her job and raised them and still love all of them enough to have them before they turn it with a will. A lot of us think it will solve everything. It don't even solve, no, it's just the icing and the cake. Because if siblings now live good together, it's problems. It's problems. Or the upbringing, whatever, whatever. If they don't respect your up, the, the teaching, your siblings don't respect the parents' teaching. Right? Whether them right or wrong, whether them think them right or whether them think them wrong. Them don't have the respect, even in debt, even in living and while you're dead. Parents need to watch out. And them need to tell them children, say, look, yo, that is Esau, Jacob. You hear me, I say? If me, I see it while I'm living, can you imagine when me dead, that is Esau, Jacob? Be careful. You feel me? Because if you not deal with honesty and integrity, you might just lose it all. You understand? Children, oh boy. It's another story, man. It's another story. But... I could only assume. I don't know what went down, but I could assume it has to do with a respect. You know what I mean? It has to do with a respect. That's the only way. And that's the only thing that could have pushed that person. It, they, they could have said X, Y, Z, the person have mental problems all along, whatever, whatever. Yeah, they could have said that. Fine. Anybody can say that because, you know what I mean? He's not the victim. <laughs> the people them who dead is the victim. <laughs> the, the person who shoot is the, the perpetrator. But then now you go, he shoot him on a sibling. So they can say the person have mental problems. It's an easy fix. Close the book. Story done. You understand? But, for people who come from my part of the world, respect is vital. Even if you got mental issues, as you say, you have to have respect. Mannerism is important. You understand? Culturally, upbringing is important. Not this, okay, here goes five dollars. Go get yourself some candy and go to the movies. You know what I mean? That you only find that in the United States. You know what I mean? Where everything is a substitute. TV is a substitute for, for discussion at the table. You understand? A quick mass, quick Catholic mass, a quick Catholic mass is a substitute for religious, um, order in your life right the priest is everything and everything is the priest and the saints you only find that here right when as we was brought up everybody hold your own when it come to the book the bible everybody hold their own you study on your own you learn you read on your own yes you're taught but then it come to a level now it you got to branch out on your own and study, right? Because it was just instilled in us. You know what I mean? When we, when we branch out on our own and we have to go take our kids to school. Over here, parents still take them kids to school all up to college. I take them to school, I hold them hand. You know what I mean? Because them so 
nested. Nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, you know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean, but if you know what I mean, it's a different type of people. Huh? And obviously those are not, you know what I mean, children of the brown persuasion. But for the most part, we who are of the brown persuasion, we grow up a little quicker. Because we learn to stand on our own a little bit quicker. You understand what I'm saying? And there's a few of us that don't want to stand on. We have to have, you know, things to validate us. Yeah? But I, I just had to throw that in there because we're talking about health. Right? You know? And we are in a position where a lot of us, prosperity is important. It's important. You know what I mean? It, it changes our view, our outlook on life, our family, um, down the road. You know what I mean? It was a time too when you see poor people in this country when the U.S. promised them 40 acres and a mule out after slavery. You understand? That so they can get a little head start. You know what I mean? That was a part of the, 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 amendment or the, the constitution or whatever that they promise enslaved people. So prosperity has always been important. It's not a new thing. It's not a new thing. Right? And when I hear people talk about reparation and all these things, you know, it's just a part of the same 40 acres and I'm new. It's just a new modern day term. You understand? Because we work hard. They love to say, yeah, hey, hey, you know, them lazy, whatever, whatever. But it's like, it's like we work hard. We do our thing to what we are allowed to be doing. Right? The same health and the same time we talking about it. But what we subjected to, right? We can't, we don't grow our food. We have to use the food right now. Them banning street meat out here. Right now, street meat, them are banned out here. Them are talking about people are dead because them are go to Delhi. I eat street meat across the country. Hmm? Me. Thank God for what I've been brought, the way I've been brought up. I don't eat them hero, then sub, <laughs> then street meat. I, I eat maybe that once in a while, but there's a, there's a culture that's in the States here where them eat street meat every day, every day they eat street meat. Them need the salami, bologna, turkey, them need the monster cheese, the cheddar cheese, the provolone, they need the Swiss, them need the um, pepper jack. Eh? They need the salami, they need the sausage. Every day now then got. Eh? I gotta show you say if you cook your food, eat some organic food, some ital food. Eh? Eat some cooked food. To know what take you out. COVID just gone. The the, the disease called listeria bacteria. I take all people. Eh? And the number keep growing. I thought it was just a little small thing. Cause when it started off, it started off with a very small number. Now it's a big number. And it's growing. To them ban it. And a lot of people stuck with bad street meat in them store and all on them shelves. I won't be surprised by next month because it don't take companies that long to go bankrupt and shut down. And a lot of people disappointed. Eh? Health and time. The two most important things. This is Italis one year. Subscribe, like, and share. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Hey, uh, the link is in the bio. You can check me out. 
appreciate everybody. Love, peace, and light. Happy Sabbath. It is coming tomorrow. And, you know, take some time out for yourself, man. You feel me? Take some time out for yourself. If you can go for a walk, go for a walk. You know, if you can eat something healthy, you know, take some time off of the street meat and things like that. You know, give yourself some time. You know, love man, I'm out. Thank you.